just waiting for the owner of Frag Box to come so I can attempt to bring corals on the plane from Toronto, Ontario back to lonely St. Joseph Island. I took the corals from the shop in a regular bag like I would if I was local. I should point out that Frag Box did offer me a shipping box, but I didn't want to pay the $30 to check my $100 worth of corals. The corals I got were all pretty much safe bets. I got a couple of milliporas, an acro, a bird's nest, a single pally, and a cyphastria, which was the only coral I was slightly concerned about. I didn't film this part because I felt silly enough going into the family washroom, but I figured it's better to do it there than out in a public washroom. I put some paper towels in the sink, and then I opened each bag one at a time and poured the water onto the paper towels. I then wrapped the corals in the wet paper towels and used the open bags to wrap them further. I then stuck them all in one bag and into my carry-on. I was a little surprised security still saw that I had liquid in the bag. I told them it was just with wet paper towels and they didn't question me. I didn't want to get into the whole corals thing unless I had to. She opened the bag, looked at it, and sent me on my way. Well, I'm not exactly the first person to do this. I hadn't read any reports of people doing this in Canada, and I was unsure how our security would react versus TSA. Nurai flies almost directly over where I live. As you can see, there are no reef shops, or really a lot of regular shops. I'm way out there in the middle of nowhere. After landing, the corals had been out of the water for three or four hours. I had my wife bring some water from our display tank so that I could put them in water at the airport. I could have gone crazy and put each one in its own bag. Instead, I just poured the water she brought me in a single bag and put all the wrapped corals in the bag. This also allowed me not to rush the second I got home to get them in the tank. This final clip is just a couple minutes after the corals were in the tank. The polyps opened up almost immediately, and now the next day later, all six frags are still doing fine. I certainly would bring corals this way again if I had to. It's nice to know that I can go on a trip and bring a couple pieces back. So if you're on a short trip and you don't have any checked luggage and you happen to see some corals you want, don't hesitate to bring them on dry. And by dry, I mean damp. Happy reefing.